They're running on borrowed time. A neighborhood group invited homeless campers to stay on a lot they did not own. But as Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton found out tonight, it's not up to the city to get them out of there. A letter memo from the Barrelas Community Coalition. It started as a hopeful decree. Campers left the Old Tent City on 1st and Iron after the city told them it was time to go. The Barrelas Community Coalition offered this lot near 2nd and Santa Fe for people to set up their tents. Only problem, the BCC doesn't own the lot. Frankly, it just made things worse in the situation. The lot's rightful owner told the city he wants those people off his property. So what future is in store for these campers? Since they're on private property, the city says it's up to the owner of this lot to remove them. The campers could be removed at any minute. The city says all the owner has to do is put up no trespassing signs and call police. It's no different than the private property you own or the private property I own. But the city also says the landowner is liable for the campers and whatever happens on the land. The property owner would be civilly penalized through the zoning code for, you know, improper zoning use, um, sanitation issues, public welfare, public safety issues. The city says the owner is cooperating as best he can, but plenty of neighbors say this new incarnation of Tent City has already worn out its welcome. I take care of my grandkids and they're all small. I don't know if these people are predators. In Albuquerque, Matt Howardson, KOAT, Action 7 News. The city says it continues to look for a long-term solution to this problem and has reached out to other states and cities that have faced similar issues for some advice. A 